Hi students, today we are going to learn about transposition method to solve the simple equation. Uh, it is a very simplest method to solve the given simple equation. So let me consider an equation x plus 3 is equal to 4. Transposition method means we are going to transpose. Transposition means we are just transferring. So, here the main aim is to find the value of x, right? So, our main aim is to find the value of x. So, totally two terms are there. The one term is with variable x and another term is without a variable, only number is there. So, our main aim is to find the value of x. So, let me transfer, transpose this 3 to the next side. Actually, it is in the LHS, left hand side. Let me transpose to the next side, that is RHS. While transpose, you have to note that if it is addition, while transposing, it will become a subtraction. If it is a subtraction, while transposing, it will become a addition. It will change. So, while this is a transposing. While transposing, addition will become a subtraction. The same way, the subtraction will become the addition. Now, it is a plus 3, right? That is addition 3. If you take that side, it will become a subtraction so x is equal to already 4 in the lhs it will remain same so only plus 3 we are going to take this side so it will become a minus 3 so what is the x value x is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 so now we get the solution for the simple equation right so if it is the addition while transposing it will become subtraction if it is subtraction while transposing it will become a addition right so, what happened to the multiplication and division? Yes, I think you guessed. The multiplication while transposing, it will become a division. And while the division we transpose, it will become a multiplication. For example, uh, 3x is equal to 6. So, your yeah, 3x means 3 into x, right? So, multiplication, 3 into x. So, 3 and x is multiplied. So, we need... Uh, our only thing we have to find a x right only one term is here uh, we need to find a x but x is multiplied with the 3 so let me transfer this 3 here here it is a multiplication while we transposing it will become a division so x is equal to 6 divided by 3 so x value is equal to 6 by 3 is 2 right so same for division let me consider an a x by 4 is equal to 2 right now in this equation the x is the thing that we have to find the 4 is in the division let me transpose to the next side of the equation that's rhs so another another side so the 4 here is the operation is a division so while taking that side it will become a multiplication right so x is equal to 2 into 4 or x is equal to 8 right so addition will change to the subtraction and subtraction will change to the addition same wise multiple will change to the division same division will change to the multiples when we are transposing to the next another side next side or another side when we are transposing to the another side clear children so here we go for the problems that we will use the transpose method to the transposing method to solve the given equation, simple equation. So it is given a x plus 1 is equal to 0. So our aim is to find one value of x. So let the y be here. Let me transpose this 1 to the plus 1 to the next, uh, another side. So plus 1 if you transpose it will become a minus 1, right? So x is equal to 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1 right so value of x is equal to minus 1 clear so our aim is to find the value of x so the plus 1 we are transposing it will become a minus 1 so next problem x minus 1 is equal to 0 the here also our aim is only to find the value of x so let me transpose this minus 1 to another side so while changing to another side while transposing to another side minus 1 will become a plus 1 so x is equal to 0 plus 1 so x is equal to 1 so 
x is equal to 1 is the solution for the given equation. If you, you can check if you substitute 1 here, you will getting RHS. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, right? The same here. There is a minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, you will be getting a perfect solution. So, here we go for an, another problem. y plus 4 is equal to 8. The same. So, what is the variable? That is our aim to find. So, here the variable is y. So, variable is variable can be any letters. A to Z, any letters we can take. So, our aim, if the question asks to solve the equation, we have to find the value for the variable. So, uh, now what are the other terms? Plus 4. So, let me transpose this plus 4 to the another side, that is RHS side. So, plus 4, if you transpose, it will become a minus 4, right? So, y is equal to 8 minus 4. So, y is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4. Always remember, only just plus 4 we are changing here. The 8 remains the same. So, let it be that. And the next problem, x plus 4 is equal to 2. Clear? x plus 4 is equal to 2. So, here also the same. The variable is x. That is what we have to find. Let me transpose this plus 4 to RHS. I'll, uh, plus 4 is in now LHS. Let me transpose it to the RHS. So, if you transpose the plus 4 will become a minus 4, right? So, here the only x will be remaining. So, x is equal to your 2 already is there. If you transpose, it will become a minus 4. So, 2 minus 4 is a minus 2, right? So, only we are transposing this plus 4 to that side. The x will, the other terms will be same side. Only the plus 4 we are uh, transposing. Other terms x is in LHS, it will remain same. 2 is in RHS, it remains same. Previous problem also you can check. Y is in LHS, it remains the same side. 8 is in RHS, it remains the same side. Only this plus 4 we are transposing and that will change to the minus 4. So, here we go for the next problem. 3x is equal to 15. The same here our aim is to find the value of x. But the 3 is in operation 3 into x, right? 3x means 3 into x. So 3 is multiplied. So if you transpose to the next side RHS, so it will become a division. So x is equal to 15 by 3. Clear? So what is the value of x now? 15 and 3 we can simplify. 5, 5 3 is so a 15, right? 1 times 5 times it's a 15. Clear children? We will go for the next. X by 7 is equal to 2. X divided by 7 is equal to 2. Here you can see the same. We have to find the value for X. And the 7 is divided. If you transpose, the division will become a multiple. Right? So, 7 we are transposing to the next side. It will be multiplied. So, here the X will remain same. 2 will remain same. And division become a multiplication. So, x is equal to 7 to 14. So, 14 is the value for the x. Even if you substitute here, you can check 14 by 7 is equal to 2. We will be getting. So, here we go for the next problem. z by 3 is equal to 3 by 2. So, z by 3, we need to find the value of z and 3 is divided. So, let me transpose 3 that side. So, division will... So, here is that divided by 3 and 3 by is equal to 3 by 2. So, the 3 is in division. We are transposing to that side. It will become a multiplication. So, z is equal to 3 by 2 into 3. Right? So, we can multiply the numerators. 3, 3 is a 9 and the answer is a 9 by 2. Value of z is a 9 by 2. So, here we go for the next problem. A divided by 5 is equal to 7 by 15. So, here we need to find the variable A and 5 is divided with A. So, let me transfer this A to that side. So, the division will become multiplication. So, A is equal to 7 by 15 into 5. So, 5 and 15 can be simplified. The 5 table 1 times, it's 3 times. So, 7 into 1. So, A is equal to 7 into 1 is 7 and divided by 3. So, A is equal to 7 by 3. Clear students. So next problem 3p by 4 is equal to 6. Here you can see the 3 is multiplied with p and the whole thing is divided by 4 is equal to p. So we need only to find the value of p. 
So let first we will take a division to the that sign. Then we will take a multiple of three to that side. So if you take uh, if you transpose first four division there, it will become a multiplication, right? So three p is equal to six into four. So three p is equal to six four is twenty four. So now we will divide this here, right? So three is multiple with p. So the three three can be transposed to the next side and it will become division. So p is equal to 24 divided by 3 and the p is equal to how much time 8 times right so next 3p by 10 is equal to 6 the same like a previous problem the p is multiplied by 3 and also divided by 3 so let me first solve for the division so if you take division to the next side it will become a multiplication right so 3p is equal to 6 into 10. So 3p is equal to 6 into 10 is 60. Right? So the p is multiplied with 3. So let me divide. It will become a p is equal to 60 divided by 3. Right? It's a multiplication. So while transposing it will become division. So p is equal to. We can simplify. Right? 3 double 6 is come for 20 times. 3 into 20 is a 60. The value of p is the 20. Clear students? So here we go for the next problem. 3n minus 2 is equal to 70. Here you can see that two terms in the LHS. So one of the term is with variable. Another is without variable. First we will transpose the uh, number only. So with, which term is without variable. So minus 2 is the without variable. right? Only the number. So first we will transpose this. Then we will transpose with the variable, right? So if the minus 2, if you transpose, it will become a plus 2. So the balance 3n will be the same, right? So first choose wise the term wise. Clear? Don't choose the first is the 3 and its multiple will divide. No, term wise. First you uh, transpose which term doesn't have a variable. The minus 2 doesn't have a variable. If you transpose, it will become a plus 2. So 17 plus 2 is 19. So 3n is equal to 19, right? Uh, now we can uh, bring the 3 to the next side, RHS, right? If it is 3 and n is the multiplied, so if you bring this side, it will become a division. So n is equal to 19 by 3. Can we simplify? No. So this is the final answer. Clear student? The next problem, 10p plus 10 is equal to 100. The same you can see the two terms the first term is with the variable p and second term is without the variable so which we have to transpose first yes we have to transpose the term which is uh, only the number the plus 10 is the only the number that we have to transpose if you transpose it will become a minus 10 so the plus 10 10 p will be the remains in the same side 100 is also in the same side while transporting it will become a minus 10 so 10p is equal to 100 minus 10 is a 90. So now 10 into p. Now we will transfer this 10 to this side. 10 is multiple. So we have to divide p is equal to 90 by 10. Right. So p is equal to it will be 9 times. So while solve we will get a 9 times. Clear. Here we go for the next problem. 2q plus 6 is equal to 12. You can see here the two terms always remember children don't take this to two because it is along with the term q so first you have to transpose the number only the term which have only number only number only number is plus six so we'll transpose that side. so that term is only have a number so 2q will be remains the same and 12 also remains the same side and plus six if we transpose it will become a minus six so 2q is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6, right? Now we will transpose this. 2 into q is that. If you transpose, it will become a division. So q is equal to 6 divided by 2, right? The rest will be the same. q will be the same, 6 will be the same, only 2 are transposing. So on 2, it will say 3 times. So the value of q is 3. Clear? We'll go for the next problem. 2q minus 6 is equal to 0. Yeah, the same. The 2q is with the term variable and the number. Don't disturb it first. First you just take the only number. First you just transpose the term which has only number. Be keen on that. 
so 2q is equal to the right hand side 0 is there 0 plus 6 minus 6 if you transpose it will become a plus 6 right so it is a minus 6 while transposing it will become a plus 6 so 2q is equal to 0 plus 6 is a 6 so now the 2 and 2 and q are in the multiples 2q means 2 into q so the two while to transferring the two we need only the q value right so let me transpose two that side it is in the operation multiplication two into q right so q is equal to six divided by two so if you divide it will get a three times right so q is equal to three clear children thank you